Creating zoomed in detail in Adobe Illustrator is pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you how to do this in a few very simple steps. So first of all, you need to have an illustration which you've created. Now you want to have one illustration file per thing you're doing. So in this case, we have a monkey that would go into a larger arrangement in our poster. We just do the illustration of the monkey and show you what it looks like. Let's go to view outline. You can see all the construction pieces behind and this is actually a monkey which I created. So here we go. What we do then is create, once you've made your um, illustration, file new, and I will call this zoomed in detail. And this one is A4 and landscape, and we just have our board there. So now we need to place our graphic on the board. So file, place, and we select our monkey. We're gonna drill down and find it in the system here, which is Chinese New Year, because we're running that media and there's our monkey and we click place and we just pull this out and place him there obviously this works with other things apart from monkeys but i'm just using monkeys because i think it's quite fun let's uh, view fit all in window take him with the selection tool drag him down to the middle and there he is in the right place so i want to have the zoomed in detail in the top right here so with the ellipse tool i take this hold down shift, left click, drag the mouse, release the mouse, and then release left click. So that's gonna be our detail going to go there. So how do we get the monkey inside there? Simple, we use the selection tool and we select our circle. Obviously other shapes work the same, you can use any shape you like. In this case, I'm using a circle. And down the bottom here, we have the drawing tools. Now draw normal, draw behind, or the one that we want, which is called draw inside. Now anything I do here will appear inside that circle and only inside the circle. So if I go file, place, and select the same monkey, which is gonna be that one, and just go yes, it's fine. Now I want to get him inside there. I want to be this much bigger, so I'm drawing a very big monkey, and you can see he's there. By the way, that was left click and just drag out. Now I can just take this and move him anywhere I like. Now I want to have the star detail, so I'm just moving it close about there. Hmm. Let's go a bit bigger, shall we? So hold down shift, and just drag the corners, and I fill that circle quite nicely. And I'm quite happy with that for today. So zoom in. And that is the detail inside the circle. Now the reason why I didn't just copy him and do things you'll see, I'll go to the monkey two here. If I was to um, zoom in here, and I'm going to draw it's a stupid shape around the star. Let's go that white blob, and click save. And I go to zoomed in detail here. We will be able to have some fun in a second. So there we are. So some files are missing or modified. We know it's modified because I just made a change. Do you want to update them? Yes, click OK. And there you go. We have our um, monkey, it's updated in both views. Now, what do we do here? We want to get rid of that, so go back onto this area, take this, remove that blob, and file save. So, in a second, that will once again say, hey, there's a change we made, join update it, there we are. Now, I want to add a stroke to this circle to make it easier to see. Now with the selection tool, if I select the circle, you'll notice that the options to add stroke are not there. Now, <coughs> to get these back is very simple. Open up your layers panel and just drop down. At this moment, it's actually a really good idea to get organized. So I'm gonna add an, another layer. I'm gonna call this monkey. Move that down to the bottom. And that monkey, the main one, just drag him into that one there. Which means that the view, which is the zoomed detail is on a different layer it just helps keep things nice and neat especially for later on so we open up zoom detail we open up the clip group and we've got two options here one is the image inside and one is the uh, one is the circle now say so if I turn that off you just see the entire monkey turn the circle on and it clips everything apart from what's in the center to edit this I click on the dot here 
the click to target or otherwise known as the meatball and you see it's been selected. I can then go through and apply a stroke. I'm going to choose 0.7. Now I can also do other things. I can you know, add uh, different kinds of effects and bits, but I'm going to keep it basic at 0.7. And I can then just go and add some other bits. Let's add, keeping in the zoom detail with this layer selected, choose the ellipse tool, draw a circle around the item on his back. Because it's quite simple, we can just go and do the normal items. Let's arrange it a little bit more neatly. There we are. And then we can just draw some lines between here. So let's say at that point, oops, sorry, the layer. Doesn't need help on here to there. And the same just there. So that is how to create a zoomed in detail of a larger illustration. And both these images will update as soon as the source file is updated. You should be creating all of your individual illustrations as individual items, rather than trying to get 10 different garments or 10 different illustrations on one artboard. One illustration, one artboard, place them in, and you can do various things. And that is how simple it is.